At baseball on the show, it's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, Jamison Tyon. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Left-hand hitter waits. That no, just misses. No. And the count even one and one. And that Too skips hard. in the dirt. Two down. Swings and misses. Struck him out. They usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer right, coming right, in right. from the opposite right, side, right. but that pitch really right, right. got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And it stays fair. Batting third. The designated hitter. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And a pitch. And That's ball one. Go. Go, Turner go. runs. It's softly on the ground to third. Whips it across, and Castellanos is out. That is cool. The right field is Harper. Here's Harper now. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Oh. And that clips the inside corner. That one missed. Oh, no. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch misses outside, and the count is filled up. Alec Bohm on deck for the fills. The 3 2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. Yeah, it's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. And now it's Alec Bohm. Pitch misses oh, inside, yeah. and it's 1 0. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. 
Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. The 2 1. On the ground to third. To second. Pulls him off the bag. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Guys are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. This is Bryson stop. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases are full. That misses ball the one. zone. One ball, one strike. Well, they're one really ball, running up the strike. pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Next ball. offering is downstairs. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Left hand batter waits. Two balls, two <laughs> strikes to count with two outs. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Oh. Next one is off the play, and the oh, count's yeah. full. Out to short, Swanson. Tosses across the yeah. first. And that is that. Phillies leave them loaded, and now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Wrigley Field, and towing the slab, Ranger Suarez. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Ground ball to the right side. Clemens takes it himself. One up, one down. Batting second. The right, the right fielder. fielder. Seiya. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there, and that one's gone into the bleachers. His seventh home run of the season, and just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So one out, nobody on. Ian Happ up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. No ball. One strike. The why to kick the pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini yeah. slider, just with a little oh, less yeah. vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up. And he couldn't get the barrel to it.
And now the lefty. And fouled off. And a pitch. Ball one there. Swing and a miss struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Cubs draw first blood on this solo homer. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back here at the friendly confines. Top of the second. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a foul ball. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And now the first baseman, Cody Clemens. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Deal one. And strike two. Go ball. Two strikes. Runner at first with no outs here. That's inside. Oh, no. And that is ball one. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. That one the other way. Makes the catch one down. So digging in, Garrett Stubbs. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. On the ground to third. Slings to first, and he's out. Now that Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Let off the game with a strikeout. Good eye right there. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And a good eye there. Trey Turner to bat next. Two outs and one in scoring position. In there at the knees. Three and two now. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. 
Man on second, two down. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Next offering is foul back. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Runner leads away at second. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And here it comes. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Trey Turner. And he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. First and second, two down. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. Next offering is down low. And that's down and away. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. And here's a 3-2. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cubs one and the Phillies nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Wide drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Trey Mancini now. First offering misses the mark. No outs, runner on second. And downstairs. Oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Harper has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags at second, applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Man, you have to be sure if you're tagging from second base that you're going to move up to third with no problem. And I know he wasn't out by very much, and it took a great throw to get him, but you're already in scoring position, so it's just a foolish decision to try and push it there. Bellinger up to hit. No. The pitch. And it's even up. Out.
outside. The two on. Swing and a foul straight back. Two two. Slow roller to first, and that's Let's just go. foul. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two two now. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We play two full. It's the Cubs one and the Phillies nothing. On to the third inning. Now it's the DH, Nick Castellanos. Nick. Castellanos in his 10th season a member of the 1000 hit club he's usually in right field but today he's getting the DH treatment back up the middle and a base hit off to a good start with a leadoff nod waste no time there I could watch base hits like that one all day long and so could every hitting coach in the league just a nice line drive into center field Bryce Harper to the plate. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. Nobody out. Runner at first. Pitch misses, no, and it's a ball and a strike. One one. That misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Just off the inside edge. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So up next, Alec Bohm. Oh, for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And takes low for ball one. Right-hander deals. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. He just misses there. Bryson stop. Waits on deck. At the belt and fires. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three-two now. And that'll load the bases. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. It's a stone cold tape. On the north side of Chicago, John Chavi and Chris Singleton. And now here is Bryson Stock. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1.
And he deals. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. And he went around just enough that time. The pitch. This one popped up. And the infield fly rule call. Now the seventh fielder. And now the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. One for one with a single so far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That misses, and it's one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. And the righty deals. High fly ball, right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 1-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And here's the first baseman, Cody Clemens. 0 for 1 so far. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Way out front for strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. And a ball evens the count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering upstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Tied up here in the early going. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Garrett Stubbs. First time up, he grounded to third. In there for strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. And the 0-1. And a swing and a miss there. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Field as we go to the last of the third. Now it's Jan Gomes. The wind of the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Gomes will handle the catching duties in this one. 35 years old, and he's a native of Brazil. Next offering is in for a strike. Dude, the first time we saw a native of Brazil play in the majors was in 2012. That list keeps growing, and I don't expect things to slow down either. The next pitch That's misses. Two and one. Oh. 
Fouls one off. Two and two. Jan Gomes waits. And that's outside. In the dirt. Stubbs fires the first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's Nick Madrigal. He swings and fouls one off. Foul ball. And he'll two. Fights it off. He'll see another. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Check swing of the 0-2. Appeal to first. And he held up. He's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Broken bat, roller to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that second baseman. Here's Nico Horner. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Right side. Stott over to first in time. Inning over. Offense held a check there. On to inning number four. All tied 1-1. One, one. And welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Kyle Schwarber. The right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Movement in the Cubs' bullpen. Hayden Wisniewski up and loosening in the pen. The 0-1. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Trey Turner now. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Way one outside. Ball. One ball, one strike. Three. And that's through there for a strike. Base hit, center field. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride blown out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one.
Tyon with the move to first. And Turner's back in. The pitch. And misses inside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, going, I mean, this going, Turner going. runs. Late swing, fouled off. Gets the call. Two and two now. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2 2. Runner goes again. Swing and a miss. Goals. Too late with the throw. Safe. Here's Bryce Harper. First offering and it just misses. On the corner for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Philly strand one, still tied, 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. Ready to go, go. bottom go. four. And now the right fielder, the right Seiya right. Suzuki. Suzuki. A wind and a pitch. On the ground to third. Boom. Throws on to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Ian. And up next for Chicago, Ian Happ. Went down on strikes his first time through. And a strike on the outside edge. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. And a swing and a miss. One down, base is empty. And one and two. To the right side. And that one handled. Whips it to first on the run. Fine play in the hole for the out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christopher Morell. His first at bat was a strikeout. That misses. Ball one. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Suarez makes the catch. That is the inning. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of the fifth we go. All tied 1-1. One, one. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs. Hayden Wisniewski. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning.
Alec Bohm getting ready to hit. The third base is Alec Bohm. And a pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Phils doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They've already earned five walks in the game. And of course, that's providing them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. Here's a 1 1. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. 2 1 now. Out there to center. Morrell sprinting after it. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. Just off the outside edge. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two away. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Marsh. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And a base hit. And that extends the inning. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Cody Clemens. And digging in for Philadelphia, Cody Clemens. Right, On the corner for a strike, oh, and it's 0 1. Oh, the pitch. Wow. That one ripped. Morrell makes the play, and that will end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. And the pitch. And they're at the knees. It's 0-1. You know, these Cubs, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. Trey Mancini, the next Cub to hit. First pitch, oh, no. just misses. Kicks and fires. Now three and oh. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The why to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Kicks and deals. That's a strike. Full count now. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Down the left field line. Should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. 
And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And it's second with one away. Here's Cody Bellinger. That oh. one missed. The pitch. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Runner at second here, one gone. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking. Now two out. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with a go-ahead run in scoring position. Here's Jan Gomes. He's 0 for 1. That's in there. Strike one. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. The one one. Out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. Zips it across. Out. And Gomes is retired. That ends the inning. Cubs leave one. Score remains tied. One one. side of Chicago John Chambi and Chris Singleton top six and now for the Phillies Garrett Stubbs and the right hater back to work Wisniewski in his rookie season he features a slider a four seamer a sinker a cutter and he works in a changeup and a pitch that's through there for a strike Action in the pen down there. Julian Merriweather throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Right handed reliever. Line drive caught. So digging in, Kyle Schwarber. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Schwarber swings and hammers one to right. That's back. And that one is gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd. His 21st of the year, and they jump out front. It's 2-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Trey Turner at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Turner measures 6 feet 2 inches, 185 pounds, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Try to bunt his way on. Bear hands it. Tough play. And very nicely done for the out. He was out early today working on that very play. Tough to young
So here's the Phillies DH Nick Castellanos. Check swing and that's a ball. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and hits a fly ball center field. Morell makes the play and it's out number three. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the friendly confines. Well, we go bottom six. And now it's going to be Nick Madrigal. The pitch. Just missed. In the air, right side. Harper ranging after it. He's got it. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Oh, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, with every third or fourth pitch of just about every bat. And next for the Cubs, Nico Horner. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Way inside, gets out of the way. Lined into right. Harper makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now, the right. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup to hit. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Suzuki in his second season, 28 years old, and he was born in Japan. That hits the dirt. One and oh. Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. Next pitch no, is inside. inside. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Next pitch Walter. misses. And now 3-0. and oh. He's done a great okay. job getting the first two outs. Want to get this number two hitter, get back in the dugout, and face 3-4-5 next inning. 3-0 down. That just ball, ball. missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but no, now no, at no, least no, he gets no, a no, fresh no, start no, against a new batter, yeah. but he needs to get back yeah. into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Snap throw to first. Suzuki dives back in safely. Hap up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Kickoff move to first. Suzuki back on a dive. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. Ball two. Two ball. No strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And that is the inning. Nothing across. No base hits. No errors. And one man left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one.
back here at Wrigley Field. We go to the top of the seventh, and now here is Harper. Right. Harper. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Started after it. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Field two. Fouls it back with two strikes. Next pitch has popped up. Wisniewski pulls it in, and there's one away. Now got it. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Hat moving under it. And there's two down. Now battle. The second base. Bryson. Bryson Stott stands in for the Phillies. That one finds the corner. Going along. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Two down, nobody on. Oh. Caught him looking for the K. Three up, three down that time. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one. Bottom of the seventh. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole, Christopher Morell. And he deals. There's the strike. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Gregory Soto, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Alvarado getting cranked up as well. And he'll won. There's the swing and a miss. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. And a swing and a miss. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's the shortstop at the play. Dansby Swanson. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Out number two. The bat, the designated hitter, Trey. Trey Mancini, the next cup to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Bounce to third. Slings it across. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So they go quietly there. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Phillies two, and the Cubs one. Here at Wrigley Field, we go to the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Marsh. And a pitch. And that's outside. Bullpen activity starting up now. Julian Merriweather throwing and getting ready for David Ross. And here it comes. 
That's in there. And a count one and one. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Upstairs. Two ball, two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. Dives and makes the catch. Well, two goals when you've got the go-ahead run at the plate. Keep him in the ballpark, and then second, keep him off base. Well, that diving stop right there does just that. Excellent job. Cody Clemens stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, not close. And the right-hander deals. Yeah. And now it's even up. Yeah. And that one is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. One two, two misses to even the count. Out to center. Morell racing makes the catch. Now back. the catch. Back. Garrett. Garrett. Stubbs. Now Garrett Stubbs. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Oh. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. Oh. And another oh. ball. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And a four-pitch four. walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed no, his no, spot. No. Hitter no, didn't no, offer no. at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here's the Phillies' leadoff man, Kyle Schwarber. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. That one misses. That's five straight. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's one and one. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Next one misses. It's two and two. Center field. Morrell moving under it. And makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Philly strand one. They lead it 2 1. New arm out of the bullpen. Gregory Soto. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Your attention, please. Now, welcome to the field. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. The first base. Cody Bellinger. The pitch. And ball one. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Craig Kimbrell, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. The tying run at the plate. There's the strike. Oh. 
Next offering pop foul off to the right out of play. And now the lefty and now two and two. Two two on the way. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Clearly try to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Comes the two two. Oh. And delivers outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Jan Gomes in the on deck circle. Left hand hitter waits. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Looking to get the tying run on base. High fly ball out to center field. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever yeah, to come yeah. into the ball game the and get the first hitter yeah. he faces. Just makes everything Yo. slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Fought off foul. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. On the ground out to short. And Gomes is retired. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Third base, number one. Nick, Nick Madrigal, the next Madrigal. cup to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that's too One high. More. In there. And so now one and two. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Cubs are down quietly. They're down two to one. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And the batter now, Trey Turner. Wisniewski back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swings through that. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Next one just misses. Now one and two. a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive swings through it and that's a strikeout oh there's a small sigh of relief right there i mean just to keep that speed off the base pass it's not just the pitcher it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base here comes the 0-1 gets the slider in there for a strike and this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today The next oh. offering misses, and the count is one and two. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Ground ball up the middle. Fires to first on the run. No play. That's an infield single. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him in a chase on the two strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. So here's the cleanup hitter, Bryce Harper. Two. 
Check swing went around. Four and one. At the belt and fires. And that one wrapped foul. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Harper tries to check his swing. Now look to third. No swing. And the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. And that is there. Harper frustrated as he's rung up on strikes. And he lets the plate umpire know him. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Anthony Kay. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Alec Bohm digs in now. Off the plate inside, and that's ball one. That's a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Two and two. Look out. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The three, ball two ball. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth, and that at bad. He had to play off some really the close pitches, and right somehow right. Boogie found a way to keep uh -huh. the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Stop. Stands ball. in with two away as he takes a ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And a 1-0. Now a 1-1. One ball, one strike. Hit hard on the ground is short. They get the force. Third out, no runs, a hit, two left. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the Phillies two and the Cubs one. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Craig Kimbrell. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss. One and two. Struck him out looking. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up.
Suzuki. The next to hit takes outside. Next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Home team down a run here in the last half of inning number nine. Check swing, appeal to first, and he won around just enough that time. That's off the mark, and it's a full count. Ian Happ on deck for the Cubs. Three two now. Stays alive. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Ian Hatt, the next to hit, and that's in there for strike one. pitch this to center field Marsh moves under it and he's got it ball game and the Phillies hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one run ball game well a tight two one ball game classic pitching and defense in this game a lot of good execution and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes but ultimately it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win.